Here we are in St. Marie Saint Raphael and we can see the erosion and here we have several causes of the erosion. Uh, climate change, yes. Depending on the, the location, we talk about 80, 90 uh, meters you lose. Uh, on the website we have uh, uh, an illustration showing uh, between uh, 1944 to the year of 2000 how much you lose on the coast. This is not going to be two years, but it's not going to be 66. Puis il manque à peu près 300 pieds de terrain. Le 21 janvier 2000, je l'ai perdu de 55 à 60 pieds d'une seule tempête. Une seule tempête? Oui. Ben, pour arrêter, arrêter de mourir, ça fait que ça, ça a protégé pour 2-3 ans, du coup. Ça n'a pas mouru là. Ouais. 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 We cannot change what we do in the past. So, Yes, we can work changing, changing the uh, carbon, etc. But in the present time, there are, we have impacts uh, related to the water, related to the wind. You can find mother nature. What we can do, it is to understand what are the impacts of the climate change on the coast and how we can slow the impacts, how we can protect the coast. Right now we are on a new road, but uh, up to uh, five, six years ago the road was uh, way closer to the sea. Now there's no road. <laughs> Actually the sea uh, washed it out and uh, now it's just a beach. <laughs> well, there's some concerns about, among the local residents in chasson fils that if the dunes breaks apart because of the erosion, that it might uh, put their land in danger towards the erosion because uh, on one side of the dune there's the St. Lawrence Gulf with uh, bigger waves and a lot of uh, erosion power, I can say. It's a disaster. <laughs> a lot of land lost and uh, it's never coming back. So the village is mostly under the sea level and the dune it completely uh, protects the infrastructure there. Without the dune, the village will be flooded uh, every storm. Chaque tempête nous rend un peu nerveux. Euh, un exemple que je peux vous donner, euh, Dorian ici a duré de 6 à 8 heures. Si que ça aurait duré euh, 24 heures, euh, on aurait été euh, beaucoup plus, plus nerveux que ça. Là. We have more uh, strong storms, stronger storms, uh, more often, and that's the main reason we we're losing all that sand. When we, we trapped a lot of sand in the cages and uh, we hope that the vegetation is gonna come back and strengthen the, the dune. With the vegetation, like we can see here, uh, we saw at Le Goulet, we stabilize the soil with the roofs. So it is a better solution, but it will not stop the impact of the climate change. It will not stop the impact of the waves, etc. But it will help. There's a factor coming more public it's called eco anxiety, and uh, you can really feel in the population around here. Uh, they're they're lost of uh, uh, personal terrain. The uh, cost of insurance increases, uh, loss of cultural terrain, like there's a park, there's a church. I grew up around here, so it's a bit of personal, uh, uh, on a personal level, I think we, we need to stop the water rising. We present the risk to the, to the village. Uh, they have to create a group of citizens working with us. So we talk about the risk, we talk about the scenarios, the solution, the possible solution, and the working group choose what they want to put forward, what they want to implement. And after that, we go uh, at the office to, to propose the adaptation plan 
regarding all the feedbacks of the citizens. And also I I like the Canadian Peninsula, it's a very beautiful place and we want to preserve it.